Hello, everybody. This is Jim Ranson with another edition of um, Morning Jim Poetry. This is um, being read on March 9th, 2024. Um, and it seldom happens that the date of a Morning Jim Poetry reading coincides <laughs> with my birthday, but this year it does. So what to do? Well, of course, the thing to do is to read some birthday poems. And a cruise through the internet showed me some I had never seen before, but then that cruise was not all entirely fun. I had to dig through all sorts of ditties written for birthday cards to finally discover a few real poems. And I picked three <clears throat> that I think you'll enjoy. Uh, and they're all from different eras in the history of Anglo-American poetry. The first one I'm going to read is by Matthew Pryor, and it's more than 300 years old. You'll notice when I read this that Pryor uses the occasion of his birthday to uh, chastise the woman he loves for... Uh, treating him with scorn, and so forth. So, <clears throat> it is a birthday poem, but it's about thwarted love as much as it is about a birthday. So here it is. <clears throat> um, I, my dear, was born today. So all my jolly comrades say, they bring me music, wreaths, and mirth, and ask to celebrate my birth. Little alas, my comrades know that I was born to pain and woe. To thy denial, to thy scorn. Better I had ne'er been born. I wish to die, even whilst I say, I, my dear, was born today. I, my dear, was born today. Shall I salute the rising ray, wellspring of all my joy and woe? Clotilde, thou alone dost know. Shall the wreath surround my hair, or shall the music please my ear? Shall I, my comrades, birth and mirth uh, receive, and shall they bless my birth and wish to live? Then let me see great Venus chase imperious anger from thy face. Then let me hear thee smiling say, Thou, my dear, wert born today. Well, there you have a 300-year-old poem. Um, and what kind of a poem? It's hard to say because, after all, <laughs> we can't decide whether it was really a birthday poem or whether it was a thwarted love poem. And that kind was more common then than the birthday poems. Now we're going to move ahead by hundreds of years. In fact, we're going to go to a poem that is, is uh, titled January 1949, <clears throat> and it's by Robert Service. Now I made a few little changes in this poem to make it fit my birthday day, but they're not... Uh, changes that are obnoxious. They're just sort of date changes, you might say. And here we go. I thank whatever gods may be for all the happiness that's mine, that I am festive, fit, and free to savor women, wit, and wine, that I may a uh, game of golf enjoy and have a formidable drive. In short, that I am a good old boy, though I be 88 and thrive. My daughter thinks, because I'm old, 
I am, I'm not a crock when all is said. I mustn't let my feet get cold. And should wear woolen socks in bed, a worsted nightcap too, forsooth. To humor her I won't contrive. A man is in his second youth when he is eighty-eight and thrives. At fourscore years, old age begins, and not till then. I warn my friends, at ninety, I'll recant my sins. And live a staid and sober life thereafter. But meantime, let me whoop it up and tell the world that I'm alive, filled to the brim, the bubbly cup, Here's health to 88 and thrive. <laughs> Robert Williams Service. Now, I changed the date, which he had put in there as 70 and 5, um, in order to rhyme with strive and contrive and drive. So I put 88 and thrive. That's okay, isn't it? I mean, Robert Service probably is gone by now. I'm sure he is. And he wouldn't care anyway. What the heck? Now then, let's move on to a poem of more recent vintage uh, written by um, Tom Gunn and published in the L.A. Times a while back. Um, and <clears throat> here it is, a poem about birthdays from Tom Gunn, a contemporary poet. I have reached a time when words no longer help. Instead of guiding me across the moors, strong landmarks in the uncertain out of doors, or like dependable friars on the Alp, saving with wisdom and with brandy kegs, they are gravel stones or tiny dogs which yelp, biting my trousers, running round my legs. Description and analysis degrade, limit, delay, slip, land from what has been. And when we groan, my darling, what we mean looked at more closely would too soon evade the intellectual habit of our eyes and Either the experience would fade or our approximations would be lies. The snarling dogs are weight upon my haste. Tons which I am detaching ounce by ounce. All my agnostic irony I renounce so I may climb to regions where I rest. Uh, where I rest... In springs of speech, the dark before truth, the sweet, moist wafer of your tongue I taste, and, and find right meanings in your silent mouth. This is from Collected Poems by Tom Gunn, and it was first published in 1994. Okay. <clears throat> Those are the birthday poems, and I hope you enjoyed them. They were really fun. I didn't do quite as good a job on the Tom Gunn poem as I would have liked, but, I mean, I have a birthday party to go to. I hope you understand. <laughs> okay. Everybody, it's been uh, an enjoyable day for me. I hope it will be for you. And I'll see you next week. Bye now.